Hey, how's it going? Z Man Attack here, and I want to thank you for tuning into Snowly Games. As always, I appreciate you very much. And today we're taking a look at Barton Lynch Pro Surfing on Xbox Series S, courtesy of the developers as well as the good folks at Indie XP. Huge shout out and a thank you for providing the code to check this out to showcase to my audience. Without much further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this game. Now, it's important to note that this game is marketed as more of a simulation as opposed to an arcade style you know sports game so that being said we're going to take a look at the tutorial <laughs> and um you know kind of go from there now uh, initially i did uh actually go through it and try to get acclimated with it before recording just to you know for you know transparency um and it, it is it is very in-depth um i will say that uh when it's when they say simulation they really mean it um and uh, it's definitely one of those things you, you really want to look into this tutorial and, you know, learn the best way to actually jump into this game. Uh, that way you can fully enjoy yourself. So that's what we're going to do once we uh, get this loaded up here. Um, and I will, I will say that the uh, customization options are very in-depth, too, for the character. Um, you could either choose an existing pro or you can create your own. And, yeah, the, the options are very, very uh, vast. You have a lot to choose from. Um, I want to see if I can show you uh, what that's like really quick here. Uh, let's go to character. All right. So we can rotate with the left and right trigger. Um, I don't know if we can zoom in or not. I think it does that kind of by default whenever you go to a specific part uh, that you're trying to edit. Uh, but say, for instance, you have personal details. So you can change the uh, first name, surname, date of birth, nationality, things like that. Okay, and then we have body size and detail, and then under body size and detail, we have all of these options. Um, so, you know, you got your height, you know, you can use the left stick to kind of gauge that. Skin tone, we have these options. And the skin brightness. Got your leanness. And so forth. You know, I'm not going to go through all of these, but just, just to give you an idea of what options you have here. You got face and skin details, so freckles, you know, crow's feet on the eyes, all of that. Scars. Let's see what scars they have. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like I said, just to give you an idea of what to expect. Um, oh, you can change age too, so you can kind of age him up a little bit. I didn't see that last time. I was kind of just roughly going through. Um, and head just goes insanely in depth. Like um, forehead size, frontal eminence, like crazy, crazy. Um, Ear type, ear position. Yeah, you, you've got a lot of a lot of options here. Um, you know, hair detail, hairstyle. Let's load that up really quick so you can see. I just chose. Uh, I didn't really see too many like hairstyles for people of color per se. Um, there's definitely a few, um, which I do appreciate. But I can kind of go through some of these so you can see. Like we have, we have kind of like I guess what would be the closest thing to an afro here these two and then you have the uh of course you got the locks and a ponytail so that's pretty cool okay you know what i'm saying you know you got quite a quite a few uh i guess it selects when you go off of it so we can go back to the top here all right like I said, you got beards, all under uh, hair detail. You got your beards, facial hair color, all of that stuff. All right. And then eyes, nose, you know, the whole whole deal. You can uh, tab over with the RB, change wetsuits. Um, you have, like, different types of sponsor stuff you can get uh, as you go through. <clears throat> 
but it's uh, most of it's kind of locked in the beginning. Um, as you see, I do have five grand right now. Um, that's from doing the tutorial. So again, I highly recommend it. Um, oops, definitely do that tutorial. Um, you can customize surfboard, deck grip, the fins on it, all of that. Okay. And if you want to save and exit, you hit the uh, menu button here. Okay. And then you hit the Y button. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to go ahead and jump into this tutorial. I just kind of wanted to show you the character customization because it is a lot. There's a lot going on with that. And we appreciate that. You know, options are very, very uh, appreciated and welcome, uh, especially, you know, for uh, representation of uh, people of color. You know what I'm saying? So I'm all for that. All right. So let's go to the tutorial. And like I said, we've already done it, but I want to do this for the sake of, you know, giving you an idea of what to expect, what you're getting into. This is not like a just hop in and play arcade style game trust me <laughs> alright so let's go uh, basic moves the UI stuff you know it's pretty self explanatory you can definitely read through that if you like I just want to jump to the moves here uh, basic to advanced and then you know we'll jump into the game so paddle and stand. Paddling is a big part of surfing. You've got to get a feel for how to catch a wave. Okay, takeoff zone is generally the best place to catch a wave. It is indicated by a large circle above the water. Avoid the white water if you can and try to catch the wave. When you're paddling, you need to avoid the white water at all costs. Otherwise, you're going to get smashed. So, you want to catch a wave clear of the white water. Okay, we're going to tap RB to paddle quickly. Keep an eye on your stamina, okay? You can rotate the camera by pressing the right stick to get a good look around. Okay. All right, so we're paddling, and then we're going to stand with the B button once we're... Once we've, you know, pretty much caught the wave the way we need to. Try to paddle and stand to catch this oncoming wave. Okay. Pretty straightforward. When competing, you'll need to try and catch a wave as quickly as possible. Wave priority means you won't lose points if you wipe out your opponent on the same wave. Okay. All right, paddle and stand. As you progress, you can build up your stamina by earning money won in a competition. Okay. Okay, duck and dive. That's kind of the hardest one to do, um, so I definitely want to showcase that. The white water can wipe you out when you're paddling, so you need to be aware and keep your wits about you when you're out in the ocean. Okay, allows you to dive under the white water and come up above, uh, come up behind the wave. Okay. So as you approach the white water, time your duck dive by holding in the relevant button. Then, if you hold your button in, you'll dive down deeper and for a lot longer. Okay, so LBs are du duck dive. Just paddle forward and hold LB just in front of the wave to duck dive. Okay. All right. Okay. You can generate speed from the power of the wave by holding in your shoulder button to S turn up and down the wave. You know, we call this motion pumping. Okay. So tap RB and S turn along the wave to accelerate. Your speed won't last forever, so you've got to keep holding in your shoulder button if you want to maintain your momentum. You'll know when your pump is on because you'll see a small blue triangle appear in the right-hand corner right next to your score. 
You will also hear a sound and you'll see your speedometer text turn blue. Okay. We'll get our pump on with our RB. But one of the really cool things about surfing fast is that when you're pumping, you can then also unlock different maneuvers. But more on that later. Try to enable a pump and get your speed up to complete this challenge. All right, 23 uh, kilometers. All right. Oh, gosh. Oh. There we go. Almost messed that up. <laughs> Okay, on wave moves. Surfers can perform a range of wave moves on the wave. Where you perform the move on the wave, face separates one move from the other. You could press either X or B on the wave to perform a wave move. If you hold in the button, you'll slide. Uh, you can score a lot more points by sliding, but you could also wipe out if you hold it for too long. If you surf fast and wave move, you'll get more points in a longer time to slide. Slower wave moves mean less hold and uh, slide time. You need to surf across the wave face. If you surf in a straight direction up a wave, you won't be able to pull off a wave move. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right, lower wave. Oh, crap. <laughs> I screwed up. I lost the wave. Is there another? Okay. Oh, <laughs> ah. all right, let's try it again. Okay, just gotta lightly carve it. I, uh, I, I pretty much uh, held it too long is what happened. Okay, so we need to go mid wave now. Wave maneuvers are allocated a range of points according to how fast you perform the trick. So, the faster you pump and perform the trick, then the higher the score. So, for example, performing a fast re-entry will score higher than a slower re-entry. But the other really cool thing about surfing flat out is that pumping also opens up a whole bunch of new tricks on the wave. So that means a lot more scoring options, and this is all unlocked just by surfing fast. On top of more tricks, surfing fast also means that you can hold that rail in a carve or a slide for a lot longer. So the buttons on your control pad are pressure sensitive, which is super sick. Riding the tube is one of the toughest things to do well in surfing. 
Stalling to slow down or pumping to speed up are both critical to getting into and out of the barrel. The waist physics can suck you up the wave face, so you've got to continually correct your position by pointing the nose of the board down while you are in the barrel. So in other words, you've got to stay as close to the bottom of the wave as you can. Pump as hard as you can and then when you do, hold in the button on the controller and release it at the lip of the wave. We call the top of the wave the lip. The faster you pump, the higher you get. But remember, the timing at the lip of the wave is also very critical. Time to have a go. Let's aim for the lip of the wave to get air and then hold in the shoulder buttons on the controller to pull up the grab. You've got to pump in order to combo. This means that speed equals tricks and you can chain your moves together by pumping. To get higher scores, you can link air tricks together with tricks performed on the wave. You can't pull off high scoring tricks or combo moves without speed. After you pump, you have a short amount of time in order to continue a combo and you can check that out in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. If you switch pump back on, you can keep a combo going. Occasionally, we're going to need to partner up with a PWC, personal watercraft. Super fast tides or really big waves mean that just catching a wave can sometimes be tricky. Paddle hard to the back of the jet ski where the circle area is. Grab onto the sled and then drive between the floating buoys. Nice one. On the tour you'll see a bunch of priority buoys and what you've got to do there is drive over to the buoy so you earn your priority if you're using a PWC.
finally, you can also tow in if you want to in the big wave events or free surf. Just toggle between towing in or sitting on the PWC, whatever suits you best. Sick, you're all done, so let's get going and ripping up. All right, so tutorial's done. Um, after a lot of editing, we are here. Uh, <laughs> it took me a while to... Uh, it's it's like I said, it's not easy. Um, it definitely takes some time. And I think what I want to do is before we go into World Surf Tour, I think we need to check out Free Surf really quick just to, you know, get a better feel for it. Um, let's go where we were before at uh, Manly. And uh, we have a few other um, options here uh, that we can use before we get to the locked one. So just a cup, just one more other one. Uh, Undaka. If I'm saying that correctly, and you know that's pretty much it until we unlock more. So we'll we'll try uh, mainly. So now that we know we've got our personal watercraft to get us to the waves, you know, we can uh, get it going. Welcome to Free Surf. On the left hand side, you will see a weather tool. You can change the conditions to any surf or weather conditions you want. On the right side, you notice the current conditions based on your current selection. Okay, cool. Uh, wave speed fast. Uh, we're gonna leave everything default. Yeah, we'll leave everything default. Tide is low. Hmm. We could do random too, but let's just uh, start a session here. Hey, if you've never surfed before, just remember, Manly is what we call a beach break. Beach breaks are generally sand bottom beaches featuring waves that can break in either direction. So when you're looking at the screen, it simply means that the waves can break in either direction. That is to the left of the screen or to the right of the screen. Hmm. Okay. Use your stick or pad to paddle forward. Press the button to stand up and ride the wave away from the white water. Okay. You've got to surf the wave in the direction that it's breaking. Don't head back into the white water or else you'll wipe out. Got it? Okay. Awesome. Let's go. Don't head into the white water. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I almost landed it. We gotta... Okay, white water's that way. Can we go in the tube, though? <laughs> I'm so terrible at this. Alright, let's try it again. It said don't go into the white water, so. Alright, so that means the wave's gonna, the tube's gonna come this way. Gotcha, okay. Okay, so yeah, you can just pretty much hit any wave anywhere. This is pretty cool. Oh, you can call the uh, the jet ski as well. It's pretty cool. But we might need to do that. Ah, come on. Is coming. All right, looks like it's happening. Oh God! <laughs> no, we're going to the white water. Oh no! <laughs> See, this is why I don't surf. Let's 
going either way. Oh, crap. And that happened. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right, let's see. I mean, perhaps if I knew a little bit more about surfing, I'd be a little better at this. <laughs> oh. It's like it's it, it happens so fast. I I don't know. Like both, like I said, both of them, both sides have crashing. So I don't know. Okay. Dive under. Now we're going to dive under this one. Oh. Dang. <laughs> I hit it going up. Okay. Let's try it this way. Jesus. Okay. Main peak is there. doing my best to not look crazy doing this man but it is I am struggling <laughs> okay main peak <laughs> I didn't get in the tube get in the tube man two hours later all right, I'm going to have to back out for now. I need more practice with this. <laughs> it's, like, not easy. Like, I would, if I would have jumped into the, uh, the tournament, it would have been over. Man. But as you can see, yeah, it's uh, it takes some time. It takes some time to get used to. Um, there is actually a uh, tutorial, um, like, a more in-depth uh, version of it that I could probably link to in within, you know, the uh, comments down below. But um, yeah, it's it's pretty interesting. Um, I, I, physics wise, and you know, visuals, and you know how how the fluency and everything is, it's pretty nice. Um, but uh, it's definitely it takes some tra some practice for sure. So I have to re revisit this one. You know, spend some more time with it. But for now, eh, you know, um, as far as like the terminology and stuff, uh, for those folks in the in the uh, comments that actually do surf or you know, have the uh, more expansive knowledge on the subject matter, uh, please feel free to, you know, um, comment on it down below, fact check it, uh, whatever, you know, because I'm, this is, I'm totally new to this. So, um, yeah, it'd be really interesting. But this is just more or less 
kind of the experience from a consumer standpoint, not anyone that's actually into surfing. So just know what to expect. But for now, I'm going to leave it there. If you like what you saw, definitely like, comment, subscribe. Remember to keep it locked to Snow League Games for all of your indie game, third-party game, tech review coverage, and sometimes Nintendo and retro games thrown in the mix. All right. Have a good one. Take care. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. Time is of the essence. I feel like I got it mastered. Futuristic classic. The futuristic classic. It's always moving forward, so I'm never moving backwards.